Good morning. In this week's block news, submit your own block patterns to the block pattern directory on wordpress.org. Google updates their own block theme and plugin. Automatic releases a new block theme with one standout feature. My review roasting of the week and a new shortcut for adding links easily. Also, in other block news, Elementor update brings down thousands of websites around the world and the pro-Russian plugin controversy. Remember, if you want weekly news about WordPress and the block editor, hit that subscribe button below. Right. Let's get newsy. Time for blog news. It's news about blogs. If you fancy yourself as a bit of a designer, you can now submit your own block patterns to the WordPress block pattern directory on wordpress.org. Block patterns are predefined collections of blocks that give you nice layouts. And you can see here, here they are. This is where they're housed on WordPress.org. And if you want to use these on your own sites, you can just click on them and you'll see there's a copy pattern button up here. And the nice thing about block patterns, you can just then paste that into your page. And if we look at the list view, we can see it's just made up of lots of blocks. So that's cool. But now you can sub submit your own to the block pattern directory. Let's go back and just show you how this works. It's pretty straightforward though. You'll see this new button, this new link here that says create a new pattern, just there, made that bigger for you. Uh, you just click on that and that launches you into Gutenberg. You'll need to log into or have a WordPress.org account to be able to use this. Just log in and then you're basically confronted with Gutenberg. So you can give it a title, obviously call it what the pattern you want. And then you can just use the Gutenberg editor to design your very own block pattern. Now once you've finished with it, obviously this isn't a great one, uh, but you've got all the tools available to you that you'd normally have in Gutenberg. So you've got your list view, you can add images, and it uses the Openverse image library, which are royalty-free images, which WordPress released a few weeks ago. So you can create your patterns and then you can just submit them here. I won't submit this one because it's rubbish. So there you go. If you fancy yourself as a bit of a designer, get designing and you could have the honor and kudos of having your patterns listed on WordPress.org. Material Design is a design system created by Google, and if you're a fan of Material Design, then there's good news. There is now a theme and a plugin that lets you create Material Design designs using Gutenberg. I will put a link in the description to them, but I've also set you up a training website if you want to take this for a spin. Just click on that link in the description and it'll install the theme and the plugin automatically for you and some content so you can have a play with it. There's two interesting things about this. And they have pros and cons. So the first good thing is it really does look like material design. So let, let me just show you some of the pages here. So material design is sort of generally quite flat with lots of white space and very clean. Lots more to it, but that's kind of the design system. And it does look kind of material designing out of the box. So it's, it's really cool. The second really interesting thing about it is this has pros and cons, but it comes with its own blocks. This is one of the first examples I've seen of themes reliant on their own blocks to actually make it sing. And you'll see if I scroll down here in the the block library view here are all the material design blocks so the pros are of this that you get blocks that you can they can tightly control and tightly integrate into the theme so for example if i want to add a gallery let's add this gallery block you'll see it looks very different to the normal gallery it does look very <laughs> materially designy and i kind of love that so that's the pro it's tightly integrated into the theme the con is then you're tightly integrated to the theme automatic released a brand new block theme this week called archo it's a bold and clean block theme it has one standout feature, but it also comes with some nice block patterns. Here they are. You see how you can just drop these block patterns into this page. And I think they're really nice and very in keeping with the theme's overall aesthetic. The other really nice thing about this theme is that it makes great use of the featured image. A lot of block themes are just dumping the featured images at the top of the blog, but actually on this one, it, can you see how it takes the featured image and it aligns it to the right hand side of the title. This is going to get even more exciting what we can do with featured images once we can start to use them as backgrounds to the cover block and also the media and text block. If you want to have a play with the Archeo theme then in the description I've set you up your own training site. Just click on that link and it'll fire up your brand new clean WordPress website with the Archeo theme pre-installed. As you probably know if you're a subscriber to this channel and if you're not hit subscribe below I'm a huge fan of Gutenberg, but it's important to hear other voices in life, so we keep an eye on the Gutenberg reviews on WordPress.org. And after a spate of positive reviews, we're back to negative. So this week's review comes from Colin Brown, which he's titled A Mockery. And by the magic of AI, it's read for us this week by Alan Rickman. I think we can all agree that naming this travesty of a plugin after the great Jones Gutenberg is making a mockery of his legacy. 
Thank you, Alan, and thank you, Colin. Right, the final Gutenberg-related piece of news this week is a new shortcut, which I'm going to show you now, which is a shortcut to create links easily and in line when you're creating your WordPress posts and pages. Here's the shortcut. So you just type as you normally would. So I'm typing, I want to link to, and then you type two square brackets, and then it'll bring up a list of things that you can link to. So if I want to link to my sample page, I can do that. Let me show you that one more time. And also I'm going to put um, two square brackets and I'm going to link to Hello World. I also learned a couple of weeks ago, which I just want to show you quickly, another really useful link for headings. So it's forward slash and then you type H2 for heading two and then forward slash H3 for heading three. It just means that you can keep your hands on the keyboard and not have to go to insert blocks when you're creating headings. Hope you find those useful. And then finally, two bits of non-Gutenberg block news, but they're general WordPress news and they're really interesting. So I wanted to quickly mention them. The first was that somebody submitted a pro war plugin on the WordPress.org directory last week, which got accepted. And then there was a whole conversation and firestorm around whether that plugin should have been allowed to be permitted. It has since been taken down. Rather than discuss it in too much detail now, I'm just going to link to the article from Sarah from WP Tavern. If you want me to talk about it, stick it in the comments below. If you've got your own thoughts about it, stick it in the comments below. The second thing that happened last week is that Elementor released an update which broke thousands of sites. What's really interesting about this though, and this triggered a thought in my mind from Paul Lacey who tweeted, when I hear thousands of Elementor sites are broken once again with the latest update, then at least Gutenberg provides a free and stable -ish core for the unsus unsuspecting user. But perhaps Gutenberg stops Elementor destroying WordPress big picture. And I think this is a really profound thought. Has Elementor got too big for WordPress now that the impact when it breaks, it almost breaks the web? That's for another video as well. If you'd like me to cover that in more detail, stick it in the comments below. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Block News. To keep up to date, just hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Also, if you can hit like below, and that really, 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 it really does help spread the word of this channel around YouTube. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thank you so much for watching. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.